What is up, you guys? It is Parker here with Deco Exchange. Y'all, we've got another great tutorial out today, and I just wanted to remind you guys to subscribe to our channel, like the video down below, and at the very least, y'all, leave us a comment and let us know what you think. Hope you enjoy. All right, bolt cutters done. Little ghost. Y'all, I'm going to use a longer zip tie. And get some tension between his leg on the spoke and the little ghost so that he stays where I want him. All right, we're going to start with our four inch we're gonna do a about a i don't know 12 inch tail all right about a six inch loop get our bow added. Y'all, I'm going to hang this bow um, slightly lower than we did the other one, so more of our ghost shows. All right, so we got our bow tied off. Move our loops around a little bit. All right, let's trim our tails. Where did I get the bike wheel from? I get the bike wheel from decoexchange.com. So we're going to take our grass and get a few pieces cut off. So we're taking a few of our little leaves and we're going to glue them into our bow. We have a blog on how to make wreaths and you can go on there and you can type in bow maker and you can see us demo three or four different bow makers. And then from the demo, you can decide which bow maker you want. The black and gold leaves are from the at-home store. So is the ghost. The ribbon is all from Deco Exchange, and so is the bike wheel. All right, y'all, I think that's enough of the leaves. Let's see what else I have Halloween still in the box. 
Yo, I have more of these little things. All right, look how cute.